Why? If a child goes to his school at the speed of 40 km per hour, he reaches 2 hours early. If the child travels at the speed of 30 km per hour, then he reaches 1 hour early. Find his actual speed in order to reach at time. Here distance is constant. That means speed is inversely proportional to time. So we need to take speed ratio and time ratio here. Here at 40 km per hour, child reaches the school 2 hours earlier. And at 30 km per hour, child reaches the school 1 hour earlier. So the time difference between 1 hour and 2 hour is 1 hour. If you have doubt, if proper time to reach school is 10 am, child reaches 2 hours earlier means he reaches at 8 am. 1 hour earlier means he reaches at 9 am. So difference between 8 am and 9 am is 1 hour. So the actual time difference here is 1 hour. So take the speed ratio S1 by S2 is equal to 40 by 30. That is 4 by 3 is the speed ratio. Here distance is constant. So time ratio T1 by T2 will be reverse of speed ratio that is 3 by 4. Here difference between 3 part and 4 part is 1 part. So ratio time difference is 1 part that is equal to the actual time difference 1 hour. That means 4 part is equal to 4 hour and 3 part is equal to 3 hour. That means he takes 3 hours to complete the journey at 40 km per hour and he takes 4 hours to complete the journey at 30 km per hour. That means he takes 3 hours to reach at 8 am. That means he is going to school at 5 am. So when he reaches at 9 am that means he, he takes 4 hours to complete his journey. That means he is also going to school at 5 am. So when he going to school at 5 am to reach at proper time that is at 10 am he, he need 5 hours. So his actual time duration is 5 hours. Here distance is if I take speed S1 40 then T1 is equal to 3 part 3 hour. So 40 into 3 120 kilometer is the distance that means his actual speed is 120 divided by actual time 5 hours. So that is 24 kilometer per hour. So option B is your answer. This is